Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today. You guys are probably sick of me. There's so much new releases. I feel like we had a little lull there and then all of a sudden it was like, bam, tons of new releases. I know you guys wanna see me try out this new collection. This is the brand new Bougie Rouge blush and lip collection from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This came late last night. Yesterday I did film, edit, and upload the Patrick Ta eyeshadow first impressions. So I was working on that and then late last night this came. I knew I had to get up early again and do this for you guys because I know a lot of you are excited. So I wanna go over all the products, show you swatches. I'm gonna try to use as much as possible, tell you the details, the pricing, pretty much everything I know about it, see how the formulas blend, see what I would recommend for you guys. So if that sounds interesting, Interesting to you. I hope to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and begin. So as I said, this did come last night in PR. This is what the PR box looks like. It says Bougie Rouge on it. It has this really cute spring kind of print on it. And then there's two layers. So let's get into what's inside. So in the top of the PR mailer, you do have two blush palettes. These are six pan powder blush palettes. So here is the bottom half of the PR package. So you have four of her loose powder blushes. You also have five lip cushions. And then on top, there are four cream to powder blush sticks. I just can't hold this up because it'll fly everywhere, but we're going to go over every product, of course. Before I get into each product and swatching them, I want to give you the information. This is going to launch on June 10th at 11 a.m. PST exclusively on her website. Now, I don't know if it's coming to Ulta, so I will leave that information down below. So now let's get into swatching the products, giving you close up so you can see the color. So let's start off with the Rouge Romance Cream to Powder Blush Stick. These are $22 each, four different shades. So here are the swatches. We have Swoon, Empress, Royal Flush, and Overruled. Next up, we have the Mood Light Luminous Rouge. Four different shades in this. Experience a subtle luminous veil of color with this radiant loose powder blush. She did say that she likes to use this on top of the powder six pan palettes or on top of the cream to powder. So maybe we'll try that out, but let's go ahead and swatch them. Here are swatches of the loose blushes. We have Love Poem, L-O-M-L, -L, Love Language, lover boy. And the last blush formula in this collection is the Rouge Romance Matte Blush Palettes, $45 each, two different colorways, cool and warm toned. These dreamy palettes feature six beautiful long wearing shades and silky soft matte finishes. So here are the two palettes just to compare. This is the warm toned. It has more of the red, orangey, pinky shades. And then this one is more cool toned pink. So here is swatches of the warmer tone palette. This is called Rouge Romance. Here are swatches of the cool toned palette and this is called Rouge Affair. And lastly, she did come out with a lip product in this collection. This is called the Rouge Romance Lip Cushion. Retails for $18, available in five shades. It says get rich, creamy lip color in blushing hues with an ultra lightweight blurring finish. So here are swatches of the lip products. We have Sincerely Yours, Last First Kiss, Promised, one and only lip locked. So now that I've gone over swatches, pricing, when it's gonna be available, I wanna get into the actual demo. I will leave all the information down below in terms of when you can pick this up, pricing, and everything that we've kind of gone over. The first product that I want to try is the Cream to Powder Blush Sticks. Now this is what the packaging looks like. It is a gold component, very lightweight in the hand, and it says Jaclyn in white, and then you take the cap off and it has a rounded blush stick on the top. Now she said these work over powder on an unset face, powder foundation, liquid foundation. She said anything. She said they blend perfectly, so we will see about that. The way that she used these is actually taking a synthetic brush, swirling it on the top of the blush stick, and then putting it on the skin. I did powder my face today because she said that these will go over powder, so we're gonna try that out. Now, typically, I would roll this on the back of my hand and then use a beauty blender to stipple it on. That way, I don't get any patching or lifting, but she said that these blend immaculately. So we're gonna see. I'm gonna start off with the shade Swoon, which is just really like a bright orangey peach shade. I have an It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Blush Brush, and I am going to do what she said and just sort of 
take my brush. Okay, a lot of pigment is coming up, so I'm actually going to take this on the back of my hand, although that does look like it blended really nicely. I've got you zoomed in, and let's go ahead and start applying to the cheeks. Wow, that is beautiful. I don't see any lifting. It's not sticky. That is a gorgeous color. Wow. My immediate first impression is wow, I have to say. I thought this was gonna lift, patch, be a hot mess just because typically I have that issue. And when I feel it, it feels like a soft matte texture. Although when you look in the viewfinder, I do feel like I look a little bit glowy, but there's no glitter. It's not sticky or super tacky like a lot of cream blushes. Okay, I'm impressed so far. I really wanna try this other shade. I'm gonna go in with Empress. Now this is a hot baby pink. This is like what dreams are made of for me. I love shades like this. Now I will say, a little goes a long way. These are emollient, so, and they're very pigmented. So you can put your brush in a couple times and get probably too much. So I am going to, again, make sure that I have this blended on the back of my hand. That's just my preferred method of applying blushes. Ooh. You guys. Okay, so obviously I applied quite a bit of blush so you can see, but you can see over here I have Swoon, which is that pinky color is my favorite, honestly, which usually I think I would have gone for the pink, but Swoon just, it almost looks just like glowy and just like sun-kissed but really bright. And then you have the Empress over here, which is more of that baby doll pink. These blended beautifully. I would say get a fluffy synthetic brush, as she said, and make sure that you're not like digging into the product because it's very pigmented. So tap in a couple times and maybe do what I did, stipple on the back of your hand. But I have to say I am pleasantly surprised by those cream to powder blush sticks. I really think they're beautiful and the ease of use, I mean, it really was that easy. I'm really excited to try the rest of the collection. I next wanna move into the Mood Light Luminous Rouge. These are the loose blushes. She said in her video today that she likes to layer these on top of the cream to powder blush sticks, which we just applied applied and also the six pan powder blushes. So I thought we will apply these over this and then I will remove it, go back in with the six pan blush palettes and then apply these on top so we can kind of see what difference they make in terms of putting them on top of a cream to powder or putting them on top of just the powder blushes. So I have to say the packaging on these loose powder blushes is absolutely stunning. This is my favorite packaging that she has done thus far. I think having the colored J logo on the top is just such a cute touch because you can really see which one you're grabbing. I thought that was absolutely adorable. So these are basically luminous powder loose blushes. This is not something you really see often, so I'm interested to see how these apply on top. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Lover Boy. This one looks like it's gonna be sort of peachy and we will put it on top of Swoon. This is what the inside of the packaging looks like. I have a little bit on the cap. I'm not gonna go too crazy because I really don't know how pigmented these are. And I'm gonna use a clean brush and swirl it into the cap. I really don't know how much I need, so we will see. Okay, I feel like that gave it a little bit more of like a red undertone. So I'm swirling in again. Okay, whoa, I think I did a little too much there. So this color definitely did give more of a glow and more of a sort of reddish orange color. I'm gonna take a powder brush just to sort of calm this down because I feel like I got a little bit crazy. Now, I do like the finish of it. It's not super glittery or enhancing my texture, but it did give a little bit of a glow. So on the other side, I'm gonna go in with Love Poem. Again, this just looks pinky, so I thought that it would go well with Empress. Tap some out in the cap and just use a new brush. I'm gonna have to clean some brushes after this. And start to Sweep this.
really pretty. These are pigmented, but they're not like crazy. So I feel like if you maybe just like a light layer of blush in general and you like a radiant finish, you might want to go for just these because they're really kind of softer. Now, it definitely did change the color a little bit, but I don't think that they're too radiant. I really thought they were going to be like really highlighty and I don't like that because it can really enhance my texture. But I just do feel like I look quite healthy and glowy. I mean, I think they're pretty. I'm still really stuck on that first uh, swoon color. I just really love it. So I've zoomed in as much as I can so you guys can really see how this is sitting on my skin. I feel like I have a nice glow, but it's not glittery, chunky, dry, dusty, none of that. I'm quite impressed with both of these products so far. I do still love the swoon side the most. I just thought that was such a beautiful color, but I'm excited to try out the rest of the products. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to wipe off as much as I can without disrupting my base so that we can move in to the six pan palettes. Okay, so I quickly removed the blushes on both sides, tried to not disrupt my base as much as possible, but now I wanna go in to the matte blush palette. So I'm gonna use one on one side and one on the other. And I wanna start off with the cool toned one this time on this side of my face. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna go for more of just kind of like a neutral shade, like this one up here. Maybe I'll do that. So I'm gonna start off with Admire. Now she did say these are extremely pigmented. So I am going to start slow. Okay, I'm dipping in again. Okay, that's a pretty shade. I also really want to try as much as possible, so I'm going to dip into Forever down here. This looks really bright. I'm going to do one dip. Okay, wow. Now, there's not a lot of kick up in the pan if you're noticing. I'm just trying to like be careful because I tend to go a little bit over kill with blush. It's really pretty. I'm not having any issues. Really pretty shade. So now let's go into the warm toned palette, which is called Rouge Romance. The cool toned one was called Rouge Affair, just so you can keep it straight. I, I can barely keep it straight. I have blush and brushes everywhere. It's like just chaos in here. So I have another clean brush and I really wanna go into the reds here just to do something different. So I'm gonna go up to Boudoir, which is the lighter of the two reds. I feel like a lot of people are afraid of reds, but they are, oh my gosh, so pretty. You guys, wow. Wow, that is so pretty. Oh my God, I'm loving that. Okay, let's punch it up with a little bit of Ever After. This is the deeper red tone. They're really not powdery in the pan. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. I am in love, you guys. Ooh. This is gorgeous. So I've zoomed you guys in so you can see the texture on the skin. They just look beautiful. I have to be honest, I am impressed. This is like my first Jacqueline release that I'm like really impressed with these formulas. I'm really loving them. Now I like really bright blushes. So this is perfect for me. Baby doll colors, really hot colors. I cannot choose which I like more, to be honest. I think they're both beautiful. This one's like summer, ooh, just like hot colors. And then this one's like baby doll pink. So I do wanna use the other two toppers. Just, to, I keep calling them toppers. They're not called toppers. Luminous Rouge. But the reason I'm calling them that is because in her video, she said she likes to use them on top of these uh, powder blushes or her cream to powder. So that's the way I'm gonna use them. So I'm gonna go in with Love Language. And I'm gonna take that on this side, the cool tone side. Even though it's not like spot on color wise, I really wanna make sure that I'm trying all of these. Okay, so I am doing the same thing. Brand new brush again. Let's see what happens here. Okay, you can see that definitely bumped up the luminosity because that was a matte blush. 
feel like it was more apparent there. You can definitely see there's a glow there. There's no chunky glitter or anything, which I appreciate. This one seems a little bit more glowy than the other two that I tried, which is interesting. So for the other side, I'm gonna use L-O-M-L. -L. This is a warm shade. I feel like it'll go nicely with this. I don't really, she said what that means, but I can't remember. My brain is like fried right now. I'm in a sea of blushes and I'm living my best. Okay, I have a new brush again. Tapping off. I feel like I'm already super like burnt over here. Okay, that just intensified it, but it's really pretty. So again, zoomed in so you can really see what these colors look like on the skin. I think the fun thing is you can mix and match and literally do whatever you want. So I do think I am going to try to even this out a little bit so I can not look crazy. And now I'm forgetting like literally what I did. Which way do I wanna go? I think I'm going to add a little bit of boudoir. I can't say that for some reason. To the pinky side, just to sort of try to get these two look somewhat similar. So now that we've tried out all of her blush formulas and before we get into my final thoughts, I wanna finish off with her lip creams. So I have to say the packaging on these are absolutely adorable. They all correspond with the shade. They feel nice and weighted. I have to say this is such a cute collection overall for spring and summer. Now this is a lip cream, so it's not supposed to be a dry down liquid lipstick that cracks and is really dry. This is more of a whipped, moussey texture that's gonna be comfortable like a cream on the lips. So it's not gonna be transfer proof, but it's not going to slip and slide off like a gloss. It's sort of like right in the middle, which I tend to like these products a lot. Now if you've been following me for a while, I always put a lip stain in the center of my lips and then put my lipstick on. We call it popsicle lips. It's just something that I love. So I'm gonna do that with these. I'm gonna start off with one and only. And I have to say these smell incredible. They smell like a beach vacation, suntan lotion, coconut yumminess. So the way that I would do this is just apply it right in here. They smell so good. and then sort of just blend out like that. Oh my God, I love that color. Okay, love that color. And then I think for the actual lips, I'm gonna go in next to finish this off with Last First Kiss. This is just a really pretty light pink. And I am a pink fanatic. So this is like totally me. So it feels nice and comfortable on the lips. It looks really nice and even, very pigmented. It really reminds me if you've ever tried the lip creams from Rare Beauty, but a little bit more pigmented. So I would say Jaclyn's are a little bit more pigmented and not as silicone feeling as the Rare Beauty, but these are basically going to be a softer version of a liquid lipstick. So instead of having that dry down, cracky feel, this is more of a whipped, moussey feel. It's more comfortable. It's not gonna last quite as long, but it's it, like longer lasting than a bullet lipstick or a gloss would be. Now these are definitely really bright colors, but I think that's sort of the vibe with the blush and the lips, and I think it's really pretty for summer. So now that I've tried all of the formulas on my skin, well, as many as I possibly could, layering it, I can give you my first impression. So let's start off with a standout for me, which is going to be the cream to powder blush sticks. I really thought this would be my least favorite, but I have to say this might be my favorite. It's up there. I really like it. I think the packaging's really cute. The price is isn't too bad, $22 per blush. This blended beautifully over powder, just as she said it would. A lot of times that is a claim from brands and then it patches up, it lifts, it's really sticky. This is not that. I do believe this would be great for those of you that has oily skin or can't stand that sticky feel but really wanna use cream products. This really is a cream to powder. It is not sticky on the face. Your hair is not gonna get stuck in it. It's not going to lift or feel like kind of lip gloss on your face. I know cream blushes really can range, but this is very, very comfortable. It really does have that soft matte feel to it. So I think these are beautiful, blended beautifully over my powder, both shades, but I will say swoon has my heart, honey. I really love this and I'm excited to keep using these. The next standout product to me has got to be the six pan matte palettes. 
These are super punchy, very, very pigmented, but look beautiful on the skin. Now, these are not for the faint of heart. I will say, if you don't like baby doll or hot red, orange, pink cheeks, these are not for you. These are for the people like me <laughs> that want to look like a doll. So if you're looking for a super punchy blush that blends beautifully, doesn't grab, skip, or add texture, these are matte and they're pigmented. Between the two, I really can't decide which one I like more. It really is just a different vibe. If you want that baby doll pink cheek, then go for the cool tone. But if you want that hot kind of sunburnt red, then go for the warm tone. They're just gorgeous for that really punchy blush that I'm really into. These just really hit the mark if you love punchy blushes like I do and you really just want something that's gonna make your cheeks pop. These are it, so I'm really impressed with these, excited to keep using them. Moving on to the Luminous Rouge Loose Powder Blushes. So I have some thoughts on this. First of all, I think the packaging, she killed it. This is so cute. When you see it in person, I mean, you hold it up next to your face. I mean, it really is just so cute to add the color of the blush on the logo. I think that was such a nice touch. The packaging is really cute. It's probably one of my favorite packaging she's ever done. I will say this is 30 bucks, which seems a little bit expensive. I would like to try these alone because I only layered them and I felt like they did add a little bit of luminosity. Not chunky glitter, they're not enhancing texture which I like, but they did add a nice glow. Again, maybe a great product for those of you that have oily skin but you want a little bit of that luminosity. I do wish that you maybe could have purchased like a mini size of this for a lower price just because this is, you know, a big component for a blush topper in my opinion and $30 seems a little bit steep for me, but I have to say that they are really nice, blendable, sheer in the sense that you can use them as a topper, but again, I do want to try them alone just to see if you can use these alone. I don't know if she said that in her video, but I know she said that she typically uses these on top of her other blushes. I'm undecided on this. I think it's a nice addition, but it's not the standout for me. I really think the other two products stand out because they're just like one and done beautiful pops of color on your cheek, whereas this one, I'd have to try it some more, especially alone, and see what it looks like without anything underneath or if you really do need another blush underneath. So I like it, but it's not wowing me. I just think it's a little bit hefty on the price tag, but it is beautiful, and I think the formula is nice in the sense that it did not enhance my texture, which is really one of my biggest things that I thought it would do. And then lastly, the lip creams. I have to say the packaging is adorable. It's very slim, but weighted. It feels nice and expensive. I love the scent on it, and it's nice and pigmented. This is gonna be for those of you that really wants to wear maybe minimal makeup and put a pop of color on your lips, but you don't want a dry, cracky liquid lipstick that's going to flake, crack, get that line on the inside of your lips. This is much more comfortable. So I think this is a great option for those of you that want something that's more comfortable, but also that's not gonna be like a typical bullet lipstick that you're gonna have to reapply like every hour. I feel like this really will hang on for a few hours. Now these colors are punchy, so I will say that they are bright. So definitely a little bit brighter than I'm used to. I feel like I'm looking in my viewfinder like maybe I wanna put on, you know, a light pink gloss to kind of tone it down. For me, I'll probably wear these mostly as a lip stain and I would be interested to see her come out with more nude shades of this because I do like the formula. I like how pigmented it is. I feel like it's one swipe coverage, very comfortable, but these colors are very bright. Again, this is not for the faint of heart. This is like pop of color, blush, lips, the whole vibe, but I do think it's a nice product. Okay guys, that is everything for this first impression, swatches, and try on of the new Jaclyn Cosmetics collection. I really hope this video helped you out. Seeing me apply them, I tried to apply as many as possible. I am very impressed with this collection. I feel like if you want that punchy lip or cheek, this is gonna give it to you. So I will leave all the information down below. Let me know down below if you're picking up anything from this collection or what you thought of the products once I applied them. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.